Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. King of Cringe is back, baby. Uh, oh man. We have, uh, we've been lacking in some cringe TV shows recently, particularly from the CW. Why? Because they've all been cancelled. Uh, that's why. Uh, and uh, this little nugget of joy popped along a couple of weeks ago called MILF Manor. Yes, that is the actual name of the show. And what happens is a group of MILFs are taken to this beautiful manor in, in Mexico and uh, they're going to get their cougar on because they're going to start dating a bunch of young dudes. But there's a twist, which we'll get to in a moment. Although some of you might have heard what the twist already is. So let's start off by just going through a couple of the, co the contestants here. <laughs> if that's what you want to call them. Uh, here is the, the first, I think she's called April. And uh, she's in her 50s. She says she's 59. So she's technically correct. She's on the verge of 60. Uh, and uh, she's there to, uh, to meet a dude and drink herself into oblivion. <laughs> oblivion in the process <laughs> because one thing that this show has plenty of and i'm not talking about fake tits ao or plastic surgery ao is alcohol they are absolutely plastering the contestants full of alcohol from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep they want things to happen They've stocked a bar behind here, and then they're plenty okay with people going behind a bar and getting what they want when they want. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, meet a couple of other contestants. There's Paolo or something. Uh, she's uh, a fiery Mexican. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This lovely young lady here introduces herself as so young and she's 50 years old. Not really so young then, are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing this whole video just so I could get that joke out. That's it. That's the only reason. Uh, and Sonya is so young is an absolute psychopath. Not the biggest psychopath here. That's Kelly. But so, she's like aggressively into young men. All about getting... I'm going to have to use the Odin's men term. So uh, JT, I, I thank you for, for this term. She's all about getting the Tinder source up inside of her. But she doesn't kiss. Because kissing is disgusting. <laughs> now, one of the reasons why I, get, I laugh about this is... Oh, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it later on. I don't want to ruin the surprise. The surprise for you. Then there is... Uh, where is she? Where is she? I need to, no, April's boring. April Mark II, boring. Now... Oh, man. Then we have this lady here. Now, you know when they do reality shows, and reality shows, as we all know, uh, they have no basis in reality whatsoever. They're very manufactured. They're very scripted with what they want you to do, how they want you to do it, etc., etc. So the term reality TV is in itself uh, a contradiction. However, there is a there are some tropes when it comes to reality TV. And one of the tropes is there's always at least one person with a sob story, yeah? Somebody comes along and they've got a sob story and that kind of makes you want to get behind them. <laughs> In the case of this show, maybe literally as well as figuratively, they want you to get behind them and support them. And I don't want to come across as cruel here, but this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard because this woman does have a very... A very sad story and her sad story is her daughter would have been 28 
but she passed away last year and she's 20 uh, 27 years old tragic absolutely tragic so her mum is is i don't know honoring her memory by coming on to a show where the object is to get plowed by a bunch of young dudes Oh, no! No! Sweetheart, that's, uh, that's not the kind of honoring, uh, that we're sort of looking for, but, um, okay, uh, whatever, let's move on. Uh, then we got, uh, who we got? Who, who's, uh, who's a nice... De Here we go. This <laughs> I think this is Kelly. I don't know. Now, Kelly calls herself Disco Mama. And uh, she's 50 years old. I know. She's uh, clearly spent a lot of time in the sun. 50 years old. And um, she is trouble. T-R-O-U-B-L-E. She's massive trouble. She has clearly been designated as the one to really play the game. She's the one who's going to aggressively go after the younger men. And once I reveal the twist, you'll understand why that suddenly takes a completely new turn. So we get introduced to the moms. There's this one here. Again, rather unassuming at the moment, because most of the show focuses around uh, Kelly and her desire to bang everything that uh, walks on two legs. So the women are getting acclimated, and then they're told that the, the young guys, the young guys have entered the building, and they're now going to meet their prospective dating pool. This is their dating pool for MILF Manor. So they're all excited. All the guys, all the young guys, they're lined up behind this... Uh, screen they put the lights on them to silhouette them looks like there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of an anticipation going on and then they reveal the guys and the guys are the milf's sons Yes, you heard me right. The dating pool are the sons of all the MILFs that are here. And the object is to try and find love, a.k.a. get Tinder sauce splatted all over you, your face, neck, and chest. And Disco Mama is there for, <laughs> is there for it. So there's a bit of a shock amongst the contestants. I mean, I'm not even convinced all the dudes here are straight, but I mean, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I think I think this has got to be the thumbnail. What timestamp is this? 14 minutes in. <coughs> this has got to be the thumbnail. One is not amused. So the women realize that their dating pool are the sons of the other contestants. And of course, that means that their son is also part of the equation. So not only are they trying to hook up with the sons of the other contestants that they're trying to be pally pally chummy chummy with, but... Their son is also going to try and hook up with one of these women. We have this Oedipus. If you don't know the story of Oedipus, killed his father, fucked his mum. That's all you need to know about Oedipus. This Oedipus-esque reality, fakers, fakers balls, show is is the rock bottom of human society in the west rock bottom and i couldn't stop laughing i couldn't stop laughing throughout the whole show 
So the guys now suddenly become a little bit cagey because you know you got a bunch of dudes that are like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, f we're, gonna <laughs> we're gonna fuck some milfs. We're gonna destroy some milfs. We're gonna do the dirtiest things <laughs> that we possibly can. And now it's one of the other dudes' mums. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> They're all sat there and the mums are going, I'm a horny bitch. The sons are going, I'm a horny bitch. But don't say that to me, mum. And mum's saying, well, don't say that to me. But they're saying it, you know. And then a bunch of, uh, they all get a phone. They all get a mobile phone, which has been provided by the production company. And it allows the production company to text all of them or text individuals. Or, more importantly, it also allows them to text each other. So the production company texts them and says, Hi, welcome to MILF Manor, as you can see. The the uh, contestants, uh, you are you are mothers and sons. This is the dating pool. There's no one, no one else is going to join. This is the dating pool, sort of thing. And then, very disturbingly, it basic they basically sent a tweet out saying, "Get a get us, you know, get drunk, and uh, you know, maybe fuck your own son." I don't know. What? What? Maybe open yourself up to some absolute unbelievable degeneracy. I'm... This show, the people who have created this show are absolutely 100% desperate for one of the contestants to bang their mum. Okay, whatever. So uh, Disco Mum is just like a shark in a tank full of bleeding fish. She smells the blood and she is just going after each and every one of them. Now this here, this guy at the end here, this is the son. <laughs> this is the son of So Young, who's 50 and not so young. And so young, of course, is the woman who said, yeah, I'm, I'm there to get absolutely tinder dumpstered, tinder sword dumpstered by some young buck. But I don't kiss because kissing's disgusting. Her son is talking to this lass here. And then when he goes in front of the camera <laughs> on his own, you know, when they're doing the little interview. He's just like, yeah, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to stick her feet in my mouth and suck the acrylic off her toes. <laughs> I'm going to die here. I'm going to die here. I've got to drink some water. I'm going to die here. So no kissing allowed from her mum maybe maybe she uh instilled that upon her son and now all her son wants to do is suck toes like a golf ball up a 12 foot hose pipe okay dude you know whatever uh i don't know if i can't even remember which which sons are which but uh, there's some of the dudes which they just don't spend any time with whatsoever on the first episode so young is is she's she's wanting she's wanting this guy, but this guy's gonna end up with disco mama. So's this guy. This is gonna this is gonna get real weird. Disco mama's gonna get herself plowed full of alcohol. And then they've gotta do a, a game. Oh man. And the game is the mamas are gonna be blindfolded. And the guys are all going to line up and they're all going to take the tops off. And then the mums have got to grope the guys' bodies and work out which one of the dudes is their son. And if they get it right, 
then they get a nice suite in the villa, in the manor. And if they get it wrong, then they get some little room, you know, in this gorgeous beachside villa in, in Mexico by the uh, beachside anyway. So, you know, do they really lose? I don't know. But we're talking some primo, some primo bedroom suites here. So the dudes line up, tops off, looking, <laughs> look at the body language. Look at the body language here. They don't want, they don't want their mum groping there. These guys maybe do. They got the, they got the open body language, their hands behind the back. They're like, mama, grope my penis. And these guys like, mama, please don't touch my penis. <laughs> and this guy's just like, why am I here? Why the f have I come to this debauch? I thought I was coming for my debauchery. But now, one of these fucking virile young bucks is going to dump his Tinder sauce into my mum. Face, neck, chest. Ah! Mum! No! Hey, good son, get me a tissue. Oh, dear. So they, they go up and they grope. Some of the mums get it. They know that they know their sons because some of them they they work out every day with, so they kind of know the, the physical structure of their son. Some just don't. <laughs> when they're getting it wrong, the guys are picking up the mums going, Yes, I am your son. <laughs> and I'm just like, we are dead as a society. We're lost. We're lost. The whole, the whole show is really, you know, regardless of whether or not they, they bang their own mum, the show really is just like, you know, there seems to be some lacking father figures in these lives that have made their sons have this Oedipus complex towards older women. Yeah, it's pretty disturbing, folks. So Joey's mum, who is, who is disco mama, wants to take Ryan, I think this guy's called Ryan, back to her bedroom. And she knows it's going to wind her son up. And her son's like, no! Maybe this should be the thumbnail. No! Then she goes and texts the guy shows her son <coughs> shows the son that he's texting her saying hey come downstairs let's come down to the bar let's uh, drink some drinks let's uh let's see what happens and the son comes down hello son comes down and he's just like mum no and then ryan takes it <laughs> the dude's mum up to his bedroom it's just like hey i'm just here dude to say make sure you're up nice and early for the gym gotta work out and then he, this dude, he's just like, I'm, I was, you know, did, did, did she want to, did she want to allow me to dump my Tinder sauce all over on, on day one? I've known her for six hours. I mean, I, I'm sort of up for it. I'm up for it. Meanwhile, the son is going, she's known him for six hours. How? No, mom, no. This is the villa. Isn't it beautiful? So much degeneracy. Don't take a UV light into it. It'll destroy you. Or turn you on. One of the two. So, uh, day two. Uh, actually so young. Uh, takes out uh, this dude's mum for some paddle boarding. And this is where he goes on camera and just says, I, I want to I suck her toes. I want to I wanna, <laughs> lather her toes up. In, in oil, I want to rub it in, I want to paint her toes a different color, and then I want to suck the acrylic off her. <laughs> We're done. We're so doomed. We're so doomed as a society. They're doing some yoga, by the way. He's not just about to enter. They're doing some young, uh, some some yoga. Meanwhile, Kelly makes a move on her, who's on the paddle boards, son, and she's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this guy." 
And she's like, hey, mommy, look who I got. I got your son and he's going to dump his Tinder sauce all over my face, neck and chest. And she's telling this guy, she's like, uh, I've never been paddle boarding. And he's just like, and then she's like, can I start off on my knees? I love being on my knees. <laughs> and he's just like, sure, you can start off on your knees, but you know, we've got to move on to other places. And they are, they are, they are flirting hard. And uh, Mexican mama is not happy. She's not, she is not happy that Kelly's moved in on her son. Uh, she's literally becoming, don't you dare, don't you dare. My son doesn't want none of that. And that's where episode one ends. Is Kelly going to get Tinder sauce all over her face? Tune in to episode two. So uh, <laughs> this is the most degenerate, cringy thing I have seen in, I don't know, since Batwoman. And I'm laughing my, I'm laughing my head off at how bad it is. It's just like society's gone, you know? We have hit, we've hit rock bottom. You know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we were having... Reality shows where maybe, maybe people of an appropriate age to each other, maybe after weeks together, being locked in a room, you know, locked in a house, maybe they might just seek some comfort. Maybe. A little bit of slap and tickle under the covers. Now, it's just brazen. Brazen, I've come here to fook. No offense, so, so young. And they're just DTF. If you like this video and you want to see me do episode two, write, thumb it up, write in the comment section. And uh, based off how you guys have uh, received this video uh, is whether or not uh, I'll do episode two and, and other episodes going forward. So hope you enjoy the vid. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.